So hey guys welcome back to Incrementor Nova and last video we have seen that how you can install your NVMe SSD in your enclosure and we have also seen that which is the best enclosure under a price range and budget so if you haven't seen that you can watch that video but before that we will see how you can format your NVMe SSD and what is the best format for that so without wasting any more time let's get straight to the video so as you can see currently I'm on my home screen you just have to eject your NVMe SSD or whichever SSD you have and just click on initialize then you will get a this interface and just go on the location of your external device and then you just have to click on erase and you will get an interface like that now this is the main point of our video how to choose a right format for your SSD or any storage device so the first one is APFS encrypted basically this will allow you to transfer file read and write if you are using only this storage device to your Mac system then this is the best for your Mac OS and if you are one of those who want to store the data and keep it encrypted so you can use the APFS encrypted version in which you will have to fill the password before accessing the data and do remember this will not even include pass key option so please do it carefully if you are choosing this option do remember your password or write it down to your any notebook there are some other options as well like ms dot which will only allow you to transfer 32 gb data and even that is not useful and after that you have an other option like microsoft ntfs if you are using just for windows which you have to choose if you are only using a windows pc and after that finally the best format is expect if you are using a windows or even a mac system and you have to transfer like files between both of them you can go with the X fact option which is compatible for both of them like if you are user of a Mac or if you are a Windows user it will work for both of them after that you can rename your SSD or any storage device which you have I'm choosing the X fact option and you can rename like whatever you want so I'm just renaming as NVMe SSD then just choose default option and click on erase and it will start erasing then you just have to click on done after that process and yeah your ssd is ready to use so if you like anything about this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to incrementor nova for more such content and let me guys see you in the next one